Peggy 12. Hi, I'm Scott Amos, the executive producer of Lara Croft and the Temple of Osiris, the sequel to the award-winning Lara Croft and the Guardian of Light from Crystal Dynamics. Today I'm joined by three of our devs. Hi, I'm Alicia Thayer, I'm a designer. Hi, Will Kerslake, lead designer. I'm Robert Chivek, the producer. So in today's Dev Diary, we're going to take you through all the awesome, exciting adventure we have planned for you for four-player co-op action and talk about our characters and all their features. But looking back at Guardian of Light, it was an instant classic when it shipped. It was one of those things that people got together and said, this is an amazing two-player co-op digital experience. That was the inspiration and the blueprint for us to say, how do we push ourselves further for Temple of Osiris? How do we get to a four-player game? How do we go with more characters online, with more craziness, with more exotic gameplay? So for us, this is all this labor of love. So in this adventure, we have uh, Lara Croft, the world-renowned archaeologist. We also have Carter Bell, who's new to the series, and he's an up-and-comer and competitor to Lara Croft. Our archaeologist characters um, have a torch that they can use to light some of our darker tombs and solve puzzles and find hidden rewards. One of the other unique abilities the archaeologists have is the grapple. With this, they can swing over chasms, uh, create rope bridges, and use it to help friends traverse dangerous spaces. Next up, we have Isis and Horus. These are the Egyptian gods that are joining Lara and Carter in this new adventure, and they have their own unique abilities. With the staff, they can affect glyphs in the world, moving objects up and down and interacting with anything that has these special markings. They have a magical shield. It can act as a barrier to provide protection. Shield can also be used as a step stone, allowing other players access to difficult to reach places. It'll also move across the surface of water. Now, because co-op is such a focus for Tempo of Osiris, we made sure that the world would react accordingly depending on how many players are in the game at one time. For example, when you add in your friends, the puzzle might actually change dynamically. There could be more mirrors, more obstacles, more enemies to deal with. And naturally, something we've seen is the more players you have at one time, the more chaotic the game can become. So you'll start competing for loot, but you also start griefing your buddies, kind of that competition angle. Oh, definitely. So as you're going through on this adventure and you're playing with four-player co-op, you might be, uh, you know, going through the world, dropping bombs on your friends, accidentally dropping them into spike pits. Nice. Accidentally. Huh? Accidentally. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> We've seen Robert. If you guys ever play with Robert online, be careful. He will drop you in a spike pit, as you can see here from this footage we captured earlier today. But the point now, is it gets crazy hectic, right? Right. And one of the great things is, I mean, you have to work as a team in order to defeat bosses and everything, but you'll notice that there's gems that will be dropping throughout the world. Right. And the gems are actually part of our loot system. Yeah, so the gems, each individually, players collect gems. Now, weapons and things, and to beat the uh, puzzles within the game world, you do have to work together, but the gems are unique to your character, and you want to collect as many as possible. And the cool thing is, when you get to the end of a tomb, there's all these treasure chests that you could open, and you could use them to unlock powerful new rings and amulets, weapons, and costumes for your player. And the chests are, are different costs based off of the type of loot that you can get from them, so the more gems you have, the cooler loot you get. The more people you have, the better the loot will become. And you can start seeing just the crazy way you can outfit your character, both customizing with rings for yourself and then amulets that you share with the team. The, the rings themselves are things that personally affect your character. It lets you move faster, have a bigger bomb, that sort of thing. Whereas the amulets are shared between the teammates, which is really important. So for example, if I have a spread shot, which lets me shoot all these different directions, and Robert here has flame shots. Now all of a sudden we have spread flame shots if we're both powered up. So you learn how to get a team to work together to maximize your firepower. All right, so that gives you a very quick look over everything that we're doing for Lara Croft and Temple of Osiris. Four-player couch online, mix and match, drop in, drop out, and drop your friends into spike pits. You know, from our side, this is all about working together as a team, but also competing together as a team. This is for us one of those labors of love that we come from the Guardian of Light days, looking forward to what we want in Temple of Osiris day. So we really hope you guys will love playing it as much as we've loved making it. Coming out this year, December 9th, for Xbox One, PS4, and PC. Thanks, team. Anything Thanks. else? Right. Thanks. Thanks for watching. All right, guys. Have a great time. We'll see you online.